Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can install a .ipa file onto your iPhone. As an example, I'm going to take an app that is delisted or removed from the Apple Play Store and yet you can try to use it by installing that .ipa file for that application using a tool called iMazing. It is free to download but you may have to pay if you want to use like advanced features but just for installing the .ipa file you do not need to pay anything. So you can download it from the internet and install it. And this is how that application icon would look like once it logs, logs in. Let me show you by opening that application. Yeah, once you open the application you can click use in trail mode and once you do that you can actually connect to your phone either via Wi-Fi or a USB cable. Let me connect my iPhone 15 which has iOS 18. But the process of installing the .ipa file is same across all the operating systems in the iOS devices. So I've tried with 18.01, 15.83 on a different iPhone 6s. I've tried iOS 17.6.1 or 17 dot series on iPhone 12. So I've basically tried on three different models and procedure have worked without any hurdles. So for this example, I'm going to show you my latest iPhone 15 on how you can install dot IPA file onto the phone. So let me connect my phone. So this is my iPhone 15 and I'm going to connect this to this particular computer using a USB cable. Alright, I have connected my phone to the computer. As you can see, it is connected via USB cable. So I click on that phone and on the left side, you will see something called tools. Click on the tools and then you, you see something called manage apps. Click on that. And if you are doing this for the first time, it may ask you to trust on your device like this computer and then you enter your passcode and once you do that, you can then go to the tools and then select the apps. Currently, it's loading the apps that are present in my phone. There are quite a lot of apps. That's why it is taking some time. Great. The apps have loaded now that are available on the phone. And if you want to install an application, we can now go to library and then right click on the application that you want to uh, like export or import like you can ex you can export an application into a .ipa file by selecting this export .ipa and then it can be saved into a file a .ipa file in your computer but if you want to install an application you can simply uh, either right click on the app that is already present in your computer and then click install to device or another method is another method is you can go to data on the left side and then select apps and over here you will have an option to select an IPA file that is present in your computer like for example here on the bottom you can see copy to PC, copy to device. So you can select copy to device option and then it's ask what would you like to copy and then you select a file uh, and then you're going to choose a .ipa file like for example acton 1.81.ipa you can select that file and then the app would get installed. Here we go it's installing right now onto the iPhone Please note that I have selected a .ipa file that is no longer present in the app store. And here is how I was able to do it. Like you can restore a backup that is present on uh, your old iPhone. Like you can restore a backup using iTunes. There are a lot of videos on YouTube. You can check one of them. It's pretty straightforward to restore an iCloud backup or iPhone backup using iTunes. Once you restore it you can use the same application iMazing to export that 
application into a .ipf file like i was showing from tools or you can select it from the data and select an application that you want to export and right click okay right over here it's not showing up but yeah you have to go, go to tools and then apps to export it to a .ipf file well, let's see if that application got installed or not so it is still installing let's wait for it to install okay now it says act and installed one of one item successfully processed and now it's the app that we install should be present in the apps library on the device let's take a look here we go the app is present and now you can use your phone to open that application in my case i have particularly tried this act and skateboard app is because their company had removed this app from the app store and that is the only way you can control the switches on the uh, like a skateboard it's a very expensive skateboard like $1800 back in 2017 yeah this has worked like a charm i hope this video helps you if you did find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up stay tuned by subscribing for more how to videos and some educational content in trading and a lot of other stuff thank you very much for watching and See you in the next one. Bye-bye.